Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are struggling with this boss like I did, I hope this video helps you out. To me, this was the toughest boss in chapter 1. Not only he had two faces, but this boss is pretty brutal on the first face. It's just so so fast. So here is what I did after many many tries to beat this boss that I hope it helps you. After about half an hour of trying to beat this boss, I reset all my sparks, all my foundation skills. Because the boss is so fast at the beginning, I put everything in stamina. I completely maxed out stamina and I also maxed out the option below stamina, which is raffle escalation, which says each talent level slightly increases critical hit chance. I have tried maxing out health, that did not work out for me, so eventually I just put everything on stamina and I also maxed out raffle escalation, so I am assuming this increases the chance of doing more damage, so that is good. And the next skill that I think is really really important is the pillar stance. That skill, I think it comes in just so handy. So many times I could just stay on the staff and not take damage. And the rest of the points I just added to also stamina. Things like, for example, Simian Agility that reduces stamina cost for dodging. So I put points there as well. So mostly with this boss, the key has been to have as much stamina as possible or save as much stamina as possible. That's how it worked for me. Be able to dodge as much as possible during the first phase allow me to take less hits and therefore not have to drink from the gold as much as possible and save all of that for the second phase. And the second phase, luckily, it is a little bit more forgiving. That is when I use the transformation red tights which I found that using the light attack on this boss is not as effective and I do find the heavy attack it is much easier and effective because of dashing and doing damage at the same time. So finally after all those changes this kind of is the one that worked. Not an award winning run but at least I was able to defeat the boss. And when it comes to armor, I was just using a set that I crafted from defeating a previous boss. Nothing special there. I also had a spirit equip. I believe it was Guangwu. I ended up not using it. But honestly, I just forgot about it. I should have probably used it at the very beginning. It is the one that has a poisonous vipers that they come up out of the surface and shoot poison at the enemy. I think Guangwu is decent if you want to use it for poison damage against the boss. If not, I know that you can also use Wandering White if you kill that enemy because it gives you quite a big boost on defense, plus 20. I think those are good options. I would probably recommend Wandering White just for that plus 20% on defense. All right, so there you have it. I hope this helps anybody out there having difficulty with this boss. And by the way, after you kill this boss, make sure to make a left instead of going straight into the cave and moving forward with the story because there is a secret boss if you ring the bell. I'll probably do another separate video just covering that. Anyway, it's okay. If you missed it, you can always come back and do it later. All right, that is it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.